Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and today we are taking a look at an asset in a Unity asset store called Food Pack. Now this is a strange one, I'll be honest. Uh, it's actually published by Unity Technologies themselves, uh, but let's take a look at the actual assets. So it literally is a very low poly food pack. Uh, there is no demo scene. Uh, come on Unity, you should know better than this. I love demo scenes. Anyway. Uh, all I've done is just start a new scene and just put all of the assets into the scene so we can see. So quantity wise, we get just this, we get seven items and that's it. Now, in all honesty, I actually like how they look. I'm not going to lie. I do like the low poly visual of it. And I think they are really, really awesome. Um, some of you may know a long time ago, I actually made uh, a simple little game called It's a Burger Eat Burger World. And it is still on Itch.io if you ever want to play it. Uh, but I kind of feel uh, this burger would have suited better. I like this burger. And if I'd have found this asset back then, I probably would have incorporated a lot of these. Quality wise, yeah, they're all right, actually. I can see these being used in many different types of hyper casual games on mobile. Um, not so much really in uh, PC games, but I do think Unity markets it as like micro games or something. Yeah, uh, micro games. So yeah, I, I could see why these would be useful to a lot of people. They are fairly decently made. They look nice. Uh, they are low poly and slightly low quality, but you know what? I like them. I actually like them quite a lot. Uh, quantity, we get just this. Uh, there's no extras in this. We literally just get the seven items and that's it. How easy are they to use? Very easy. They're just pieces of food that you can put into a game. Uh, what sort of game would they be used in? Well, like I said earlier, uh, anything hyper casual that is somewhat food based, I could see these being uh, used. So I, I do think at the moment there are a couple of hyper casual games built on um, people who are running along and eating food and getting bigger, eating healthy food and getting slimmer. I can't think what it's called, but I have seen a couple of hyper casual games like that out there at the moment. So something like that, these would fit in quite well, because obviously you've got the burger that's unhealthy, but yeah, they've got cherries, the banana, which is healthy. So, you know, that, that could be inspiration, I guess. Obviously, these aren't going to go quite so well in other types of games, like your realistic first person shooter or some kind of survival horror, unless that survival horror is meant to be a little bit cartoony and funny-ish, I guess. So they are going to be quite useful, but like I say, it's mainly going to be mobile focused for a lot of these. Folder is, I guess it's neatly laid out. I mean, you can't really get much more neater than that. It's one folder and you've just got your seven items <clears throat> in there. It would help if I actually could clear my throat properly, wouldn't it? Uh, maybe I should have some of that watermelon. Someone would almost think that that was scripted. <laughs> Anyway, um, I, I do think they are good assets. Um, it is free, obviously, that's really good. Uh, the size is just a couple of kilobytes, it's less than a megabyte, and that's really, really good. You can't argue with that. Um, so as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And yes, I'd recommend this if you're making some kind of um, mobile game, something food-based, something a little bit fun, a little bit silly maybe. These are going to be fantastic assets to use. So, you know, kudos to Unity for actually making these. These are really, really nice assets to use in a cartoony or mobile game. So guys, have you used these assets in any game yourself? If you have, let me know what you think. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, also let me know because I would love to check it out to review one of these little videos. If you did like the asset, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But let me know in the comments why you didn't like this asset. I'm curious to know. Finally, don't forget to click subscribe and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on this channel on video game development, whether it's reviews, tutorials, gameplays, information, anything. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks very much for watching.